and this story is very interesting because the origins of hip-hop started in Jamaica, which is my home island. Some people say a country. The book I'm going to read is called When the Beat Was Born, DJ Cool Herc and the Creation of Hip-Hop. It was written by Leban Hill and illustrated by Theodore Taylor III. Clive loved music. It didn't matter what kind. Whether it was a wah-wah scat of a jiving trumpet, a sorrowful twang of sad voice, or the belting boom of a gospel singer, little Clive loved the way sound thumped and bumped all the way down in his stomach. He loved the way the music made his feet go hip-hip-hop, hippity-hop. Little Clive lived in Kingston, Jamaica. His hero was a DJ named King George who threw the biggest and baddest house parties in the neighborhood of Somerset Lane. On Saturday nights, everybody who was anybody made their way to Somerset Lane for King George's hot dance parties. Little Clive was too young to go to the parties, so he went to the house when King George and his friends were setting up during the day. They'd arrive pushing a big old handcart stacked with crates of records. Clive had never seen so many records. He imagined himself as a DJ surrounded by all those records, choosing just the right song to get to the party jamming. He saw himself toasting like a DJ talking and singing over the instrumental B-sides of records. Clive dreamed of everyone's feet going hip, hip, hop, hippity hop. Little Clive really wanted to be a DJ. When little Clive was 13, he joined his mama in New York City. Clive wasn't sure he liked his new neighborhood in the Bronx. It was cold. He had to wear a silly winter hat with ear flaps and everybody made fun of him. But Clive did find one thing besides music that made him feel like he belonged, sports. He ran track and lifted weights. He played basketball at the neighborhood playground. Soon, little Clive was no longer little. He had grown to six feet, five inches tall. He called himself Cool as Clyde after his favorite basketball player, Walt Clyde Frazier. But the kids on the basketball court took one look at his size and called him Hercules. Clive cut the name short to Herc and then added Cool to make it just right. Cool Herc. The best part of being big was that he could go with his mama to neighborhood house parties where he listened to the hottest tunes and danced like crazy. Clive loved these parties. They were just like the ones he stood outside of in Somerset Lane. One day, Cool Herc's father bought a monster sound system with giant six-foot speakers. But when he hooked up the system, instead of a really big sound coming from the speakers, a little mumbling sound trickled out. Cool Herc spent days switching wires and plugging things into other things until one day the sound was big. Not just big like Cool Herc, but big like an entire block in the Bronx. Cool Herc and his little sister Cindy rented the rec room in their housing project on Sedgwick Avenue. They hand wrote invitations telling everybody when and where to get their groove on. They posted cards around the neighborhood. They set up their father's sound system. On the night of the party, everybody who was anybody made their way to Sedgwick Avenue for Cool Herc's hot dance party. That's when Cool Herc became DJ Cool Herc.
DJ Cool Herb noticed that dancers dance crazy hard during the breaks in the song when the lyrics ended and the music bumped and thumped. Herb knew that's what dancers wanted, so he plugged in two turntables instead of one. He put the same record on both turntables. He set it up so that when one record ended its break, he could flip over to the other turntable and play it again. Doing this over and over, he made a 10 second break last for 10, 15, even 20 minutes or more. Herb remember the way DJs in Jamaica would chant and toast over the music. He started calling out the names of his friends during the breaks. There goes my mellow, Coke La Rock in the house. There goes my mellow, Clark Kent in the house. There goes my mellow, Timmy Tim in the house. There goes my mellow, Bambara. Everybody loved hearing his or her name called out over the music. He'd compliment people on their dance moves. He'd talk about the music and send shout outs. He'd make up little raps like the drum rope rhymes he heard on the playground, or he would call, hey, Mike on the lights, make like a strobe and Mike would flip the switch on and off. Over the next year, Herb took his parties to the streets and parks of the Bronx. He plugged his sound system into the lamppost. They pulled so much power that the street lights dimmed the perfect lighting for a street party. Cool Herb's music made everybody happy. Even street gangs wanted to dance, not fight. Gangs like the Savage Skulls, the Glory Stompers, the Blue Diamonds, the Black Cats, and the Black Spades turned into breakdancing crews who performed some of the slickest moves. Herc called the coolest dancers break dancers or b-boys because they loved to dance the bricks. When Herc would find a really good brick, he'd shout, B-Boys, go down! Then the brick dancers would cut and jump their gymnastics. Hey, hey, check this out. The top rock, the down rock, the windmill, the turtle, the suicide, one-handed handstand freeze. Herc gathered a crew of friends to rap behind his DJ. He invited Coke Larock, a Jamaican friend, to rap. He called himself Master of Ceremonies or MC. Coke knew all about toasting like Jamaican DJs. He was the first of Herc's crew of MCs called the Herculoids. Herc would introduce, introduce them with a rap. Yeah, rock and you don't stop. And this is the sound of DJ Cool Herc and the sound system you're listening to is what we call the Herculoids. Soon, kids from all over New York City came to see DJ Cool Herc, who threw the biggest and baddest parties on Cedric Avenue. Africa Bambada, Grandmaster Flash, Jazzy Jeff, and dozens of others all wanted to be DJs just like Cool Herc. There's no story can't be told, there's no horse that can't be rode, a no bull can't be stopped, and ain't a disco we can't rock. Herc Herc, who's the man with a master plan from the land of Gracie Grace, Herc Herc. Oops, I'm sorry. Herc didn't just rock the block. He put the hip, hip hop, hippity hop into the world's heartbeat. And that's the end. Thanks for listening.